is good yo it's your boy tab back here with another video and in this video today we are going to be talking about what is coming to nba 2k21 my team tomorrow and honestly guys i wasn't sure initially what this was so they've tweeted this right is tomorrow with like a surfboard a wave and nobody really knew what that was and we further find out for at least four of the players that we are going to see tomorrow. Now, before I dive into each individual player and what they can provide to you and your team, if you are new to my channel and have not yet, please consider smashing that subscribe button as we are on the road to 70,000 subscribers. So here's my thing, right? Tomorrow is going to be June 25th. And in NBA 2K21, my team, we just have, we, we have just over one more month of content within the game so we don't have that much more content to go but we still have a little bit so this is our first tweet tomorrow nobody really knows what that means maybe some sort of summer splash promo i don't exactly know and then we got this tweet number four is a rose which obviously is derrick rose and that's who we are going to see now we go to 2k database and search the derrick rose history within my team the last derrick rose we and abs we actually saw was march 12th which was quite a while ago if you think about things so march 12th for derrick rose it's over three months since we've seen one so I don't mind Derrick Rose. Quite honestly, I think he's a good addition as far as another card is concerned within the game. Is Derrick Rose going to be a top card on either gen? The answer to that question is absolutely not. Derrick Rose is not going to be a top card in the game, but at the same time, he's going to be solid. He's going to be a solid point guard if you like to attack the rim, especially if you're on current gen. But the problem is, he's only six foot three. So it's, it, it, no matter if they change his release, whatever they do, Derrick Rose is the, the kind of ceiling to how good he can be is ultimately still going to be a little bit limited so derrick rose was the first guy that we saw in the tweet and quite honestly obviously in my opinion you know the worst out of each and every one of these cards the next tweet that we saw from my team was this and this was kind of confusing to everybody obviously i mean we've seen we know what this is right everybody that plays 2k knows then we're not we're not fools to not think it's going to be Giannis Antetokounmpo. now here's my thing with Giannis. I know a lot of people who play the game are going to be like, well, we've seen one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. This is going to be our thirteenth Giannis. But here's what I expect as far as Giannis Antetokounmpo tomorrow. I do expect a power forward center or a small forward power forward Giannis goat card. That's what I personally expect from Giannis Antetokounmpo. Now. Release wise, a lot of people are expecting his release to change. For me in specific, I don't know. I honestly hope they make his release on just quick timing or change the base to the XM base because the Giannis base on very quick, similar to Kevin Durant, is honestly kind of hard to green. So I prefer Giannis's base on quick to very quick. But again, that's just my personal preference. I think honestly, Giannis, if you play him with the power forward, very quick's fine. It's easier, it's easy enough to green off the catch and shoot, especially if you give him the GOAT status, which he has a 99 three ball. Either way, guys, no matter how you wrap your head around it, we are going to see a new Giannis tomorrow. Expect him not to have point guard eligibility. Expect him to have power forward center or small forward power forward. I would guess small forward power forward if, if I had to sit here and guess. And expect him to be a GOAT card. So I do expect our first GOAT Giannis to indeed come tomorrow. The next tweet, obviously was gas you you got this you're like gas and it means that it is going to be this man with the plan the big diesel shaquille o'neal now here's the thing with Shaq. we got him on april 23rd you throw it back to Giannis when we got him was may 28th so for Giannis, it's going to be less than a month between those for Shaq, it's going to be just over two months now honestly guys we were due for a new Shaq card. We've been due. We've been due for a lot of the centers within NBA 2K21, my team in general. But there's going to be one problem no matter how good they make this Shaq card. Because you look at this Shaq. 96 three ball. 98 driving dunk. Playmaker wise is fine. Speed is a 95. Lateral quickness is a 94. Badge wise, I mean, he's basically a GOAT card. Like, you can maybe say, well, Ty, he doesn't have Hall of Fame ankle breaker. Well, Ty, he doesn't have space creator. Like, you can say these individual stats, these individual badges that, that he doesn't have, but he's basically a GOAT card. This Shaq card was absolutely incredible for his time. 
Now, the question behind Shaq is, is he going to get a new release or not? Because if you know, you know this Shaq release is just absolutely terrible. Now, if I had to guess, it's going to be a GOAT Shaq card, or, or I, I need to start saying Invincible Shaq. Uh, but that's the case. He's going to be an Invincible Shaq. Expect a Pro 3 move on the back. Obviously, neither Jenny's going to be able to curry or do anything like that. But it comes down to, are they going to change Shaq's base? And if they do... Are they going to give him a, a Kawhi type base? Are they going to give him a, a XM base, base 98? What are they going to change his release to? Or are they just going to change it to an average release in the game? That's really the question mark for Shaq. Honestly, think Shaq and Giannis's releases are going to stay the same. Now, you guys might disagree with me. I, I still think we're, we're late June. We're not in complete endgame yet. So I do expect Shaq's release to stay the same. And I honestly expect this Shaq to just be a tiny bit worse than the Invincible Shaq we see tomorrow. Badge-wise, there's going to be a little difference. Stat-wise, I mean, there's not much there. So, obviously, Shaq is going to be a solid card that we do indeed get tomorrow. But he's not. He's obviously not the headliner for a good reason. The headliner for tomorrow is this man right here, which if you know anything about the point totals, you can literally Google that number. The man with the plan is going to pop up. Shout out DFS. You know anything about last year's game? You know this Kareem card played until the end. Kareem Abdul Jabbar. Now, hear me out with Kareem Abdul Jabbar. We haven't seen a better Kareem than this one for nearly three months. Three months without a better Kareem. And I pray this says slender, center slash power forward tomorrow. I pray for it because if it says center slash power forward tomorrow, we're going to be looking at the best card in NBA 2K21, my team. Pending they don't change Shaq or Giannis's release. 7 feet 2, 7 5 wingspan. Now here's the thing. This Kareem had an 81 three ball and people still love this Kareem to the day. If we get the GOAT Kareem, he, I'm telling you, they keep this release the exact same. Kareem's going to be the best card until the end, until we get a Yao. That's what I will say, a Yao or a Bulb, I should say. He's going to be the best card in the game. Because this Kareem was so incomplete. This Kareem didn't even come with range extender. You look at the shooting badges, they're not good. Hot spots aren't even that good. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar is going to be an absolutely game-changing card. Uh, and honestly, guys, he might be a set lock -in. I'm, I'm just going to put that out there because he, I expect him to be that good. He might be the set reward, the set lock -in, or you have to lock in the set for him, which honestly, I wouldn't blame 2K if they did that. So quite honestly, guys, from the cards we're going to get or see tomorrow, Derrick Rose is going to be terrible. Giannis, listen, if we get the power forward center Giannis, he is going to be a card that every single best squad in the game should have and no matter what his release is like with the catch and shoot you should be able to green that if you are in current gen with the very quick the big diesel if they don't change his release i don't know how high i can be on him even if he is an invincible goat card and then kareem he is just going to be the best there's no doubt about it i don't know if i can go i think i can go back to 2k20 uh in this right 2k20 let's search kareem right here and you guys can see this kareem abdul jabbar was just the best if you guys don't remember i'm telling you guys if we see a 62 out of fame badge kareem with 10 on gold that looks like this you watch out that's all i can say is watch out this card is going to be incredible and obviously i hope for better tendencies some better sigs but i'm telling you guys right now if we see a power forward center kareem like this it is going to be over with it'll it'll be good games to everybody that does not have that kareem abdul jabbar card he is going to be that elite. I'm also very excited about Giannis. So, Kareem and Giannis are the two guys I'm personally most excited about. I know a lot you guys are probably like, Giannis, it's our 19th one. But this is our first, this is going to be the best Giannis yet. Because I think Giannis' best position, honestly, is at the power forward or small forward position. And I do expect this Giannis to have the invincible behind his name. So, all the way around, massive W, I think, content drop coming tomorrow in NBA 2K21, my team. This is going to be a content drop that changes the game for the rest of the year with the Kareem. Of Doja Bar card that has been highly requested and people have been waiting for. So, guys, all in all, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Let me know down below in the comments which of these cards are you guys most excited about. If any of you guys say Derrick Rose, I, I mean, I don't, I don't know what to say. Don't be excited about Derrick Rose. Cream should be everybody's most exciting card, but if they change Shaq's release, watch out. We could have our new best two centers in NBA 2K21. My team, drop a like on the video, subscribe if you are new, and as always, man, I love you guys. And have a blessed day.